a first course in graph theory with science solution arif nawaz is here this lecture is about concept of degree in a graph and degree regularity firstly we understand about graph what is graph graphs made up of set of vertices and set of edges which note g is equal to set of v and e what are vertices vertices are points for example in given graph we see the points are vertices are v1 v2 v3 there are three vertices in this graph and what are edges actually edges are line segments that connect two vertices in this given graph we see there are only two edges or two lines we see a line joins v1 to v2 and another line joins v1 to v3 so in this graph only two lines are present so this graph has two edges and three vertices cardinality mod sign is called cardinality this gives how many elements in the set here mod of v we mean how many vertices in the graph so there are only three vertices in this graph then we write mod of v is equal to 3 and mod of e gives how many edges in this graph we can write mod of e is equal to 2 because there are only two edges in this graph now we define degree of our vertex let g be a graph v be any vertex of g and e is equal to x y be any edge of g then the degree of v is the number of incidences of edges with v we mean number of edges connected to our vertex is called degree of that vertex it is denoted by d of v or deg of v we also know loops are counted twice as we know each edge is counted twice when calculating all degrees of vertices it means that one edge is connected with two vertices with both of its two ends to explain this we see an example let the graph g shown in diagram let there are four vertices in a given graph v1 v2 v3 and v4 we see that there are two edges are joined with vertex v1 so the degree of vertex v1 is equal to 2 then the degree of v2 will be 4 because there are two edges are joining with vertex v2 and one loop one loop will be counted twice so the degree of vertex v2 will be 4 and similarly the degree of v3 and v4 is also 2 because two two edges are joining with these two vertex so total degree of this graph will become 10 we can write 10 is equal to 2 cross 5 we have also an another example by the diagram we see there are seven vertices and seven edges in total if we see the degree of v1 that is 3 because three edges are joining with vertex v1 so the degree of vertex v1 will be 3 then we see vertex v2 and v6 both the vertices have joining of two edges then the degree of vertex v2 and v6 will be 2 now we see the vertex v3 with vertex v3 there are four edges are joined so the degree of v3 will be 4 now we see the vertex v4 v5 and v7 they are the end points 
they have a degree of one. Now we have some remarks. Vertex of degree zero is called an isolated vertex. A vertex of degree one is called an end vertex or a leaf. The degree of an edge E is equal to x y is equal to degree of E is equal to degree of x plus degree of y minus two. A vertex of even or odd degree is known as even or odd vertex. If all the vertices of G have the same degree R, then G is called R regular graph or simply regular graph. A three regular graph is called a cubic graph. A graph is edge regular if all the edges have the same degree. The maximum degree of any point in a graph with p points is p minus one. Here we define a theorem, which is known as handshake lemma. It is stated as in a graph G, the sum of the degrees of all the vertices of a graph G is twice the number of degrees in G. That is mathematically, let v1, v2, v3, so on, vn are the vertices in G and S of G is the size of G. Then, summation of degrees of 1 to n vertices is equal to the twice of the size of G. That will be an even number. It implies that every line of G is incident with two points so every line contributes 2 degrees. Here, consequence is in any graph G, the number of vertices of odd degree is even because if the number of odd vertices in G is odd, then the sum of all the degrees would be odd, which contradicts the handshake lemma. So every cubic graph has an even number of vertices. I hope you understand. If any query, please comment. A complete course of graph theory and many more science solution will present to you. So subscribe science solution. Thanks for watching.